Hi, welcome to the Hager. Today's project is stripping paint off an old wooden propeller. Let's go ahead and take a look at our project. Okay, here's our project. Here's our wooden prop. We've got it up on a couple of sawhorses. Here's a product that we'll be using. It's Clean Strip Premium Stripper. It's a spray-on product. It's the first time I've ever used it, and we'll be putting the link in the description box below. We can see we tried to uh, use a little bit of brake cleaner to get some of the paint off, and that evaporates too quickly, so that's not going to work. So we're going to go ahead and try this product. As you can see, it's a little beaten up, but it will um, hopefully look really nice after we get that paint stripped off. We've got some um, gloves that we're going to use to keep our hands protected. As you can see, I've got a new manicure. Don't want to mess that up. Okay, I just sprayed the uh, stripper on the uh, tip of the propeller, and I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes. Um, you can kind of see I gave it a ample coating, and it's bubbling up quite nicely. Um, and we're going to see if it lifts that paint off. And once it does that, if, uh, if it looks good in 15 minutes, then we'll try and take a scraper to it and see, and see what happens. All right, we've given it a good 15 minutes. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, as you can see, it's really bubbling up now. So let's take a look and see if we can start to lift this up just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's lifting up very nicely. You can really start to see the wood grain there. You wanna work really slowly here. Again, we're working on a wood propeller and so we don't wanna, we wanna avoid scratching as much as possible and we're going to clean off our blade here with a little shop towel and just continue pulling that off very very gradually so we'll keep doing working on that and as i get this cleaned off we'll uh, come back and show you how it looks Okay, here it is, and it looks pretty good. Um, however, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another, another application of the stripper on here and see if I can get some of this other black uh, layers off um, and see if I can get that off with, with another application. Um, it, it may not come off. I may need to use a, uh, actually a little bit of sanding. Uh, we'll see. One thing I did notice while I was taking this off is it started to dry up on me um, and became kind of harder to remove. So um, 15 minutes, I think, is, is a good amount of time to leave the application on before you start removing it. And I also think it's a really good idea to work in small sections. I don't think you're gonna to wanna to work in any sections bigger than this. Or um, I was thinking maybe I'd start applying um, uh, some of the stripper in a different area and then working here and then uh, working uh, somewhere else while that sits in, in the 15 minutes and maybe get this job done a little bit sooner. But uh, at least initially, I think I'm just gonna work really slow and and uh, as I try to figure figure out how to best best do this. So anyway, we'll check back in a little bit. Well, we're halfway through the project and uh, some lessons learned are that the uh, timing of the application is 15 minutes seems to be a, a little too long, but 10 minutes seems to be a little too short. So it's kind of like you're racing between letting it dry, get too dry, 
um, and it will leave behind a uh, kind of a rubbery residue that becomes harder to remove, which means I'm going to have to use uh, some sandpaper to get that off. Um, but if you don't leave it on long enough, you can see right here where I didn't leave it on long enough, I tried to use a shorter time frame and it didn't quite pull up that uh, initial coat. So um, I'm having to reapply it. So I'm trying um, again for, for, uh, for a, good, a good 10 minutes and, uh, and then take off the uh, initial, scrape off the initial uh, layer of paint and then come back, reapply for another 10 minutes, maybe seven minutes so I don't get that drying effect and re reduce the uh, sanding that's probably going to be required. So I've got a um, rough coarse uh, sponge here that will kind of take off some of that initial uh, roughness of the of the uh, rubbery residue and just kind of going over that and kind of reduce some of the sanding that I'll probably have to do. Um, overall, this is uh, going to be kind of a long process, but it's going to be well worth it, I'm sure, in the end. Okay, just finished with the first side of this propeller, removing the final layer of paint. All in all, it was a pretty easy process. I worked in small sections, and each section was about 20 minutes, 10 minutes for the first layer, another 10 minutes, working again in small session sections. I used, uh, found that 10 minutes was really kind of the sweet spot, so uh, the paint would bubble off, but it wouldn't dry so too much and uh, leave that, that sticky residue behind. Um, we'll end up probably having to use some sandpaper to smooth it out, but all in all, it was a really fun project. Great way to spend the afternoon here at the hangar. Have a great night, and we hope to see you again. Have a great night.